everyone, Sarah here. Uh, it's the first day of open lobster season in Florida. Nick and I went out on my boat for fun just to check some spots out. And one spot has some keepers on it. So we're gonna show you how to wring the tails off of them and then show you how to how I like to cook them back at home later today. We're in their little swimming pool, but not for long. <laughs> All right, let's do a little biology lesson. So this is a feisty lobster, a male lobster. He only has one set of fins underneath, and females have two sets. Let's see if there's a female in there. Male. Male. No, that's a female, see? See the second fin inside, the little hook fin? That's for when they lay eggs, they can hold the eggs inside. That little hook fin right there. See the males only have one set. No hooks. So female lobster, male lobster. Come on. All right, so bring the tail from the lobster head. Over the water, because if not, you'll destroy the boat. Stick it up the little hoop shape. <laughs> a little twist and it loosens that. That's the yucky part. We don't want to eat that. That's the poop. Lobsters make this funny noise when they're like threatened or you hear them underwater. They do this little squeaky, squeaky noise thing. See that little red line under his eyeball? It's their antennas, they rub against their like brain, the skull or something. That's the squeaky noise you hear. Interesting. Learn something new. Lobster, female lobster. All right, guys, so we caught some lobsters today. Sarah's gonna show us how to cook them, and we'll see how they turn out. Sadie's gonna taste test them. They're gonna be awesome. First, we give them a little fresh water rinse. Look how cool they look. Look at that one. So this is like a normal size lobster tail, and that's a big giant one I caught down here. There's a lot of different ways to get in to the lobster tails. <laughs> People cut them with a knife underneath, you can cut them on top. I like to use kitchen shears, because I think that's the easiest way to get into them. So you just stick the kitchen shears under the shell like that. right down the middle. And you can spread them open. And from here you can either, you know, put them on the grill. You can open them up and lay them flat on the grill with some olive oil or in the oven. So that probably looks familiar to a lot of people because that's how it's served in restaurants, like butterfly and opened up like that. But we're gonna yank the meat out and I'm gonna make a pasta dish. So I want the meat to come out, which is sometimes easier said than done, but it looks like this lobster is gonna cooperate. It depends on if they're molting or not. Sometimes the meat sticks to the shell, but this one's actually coming out pretty nicely. You kind of just pull it away from the shell gently. Sometimes the last little bit gets 
it's kind of stuck so you can take the sh kitchen shears and trim it on the inside to get it all. So yeah, that was a good one. Pretty much clean. Let's see if the other ones are as easy. Sometimes you just have to like shred the tail meat getting it out. It depends on when the lobster's molting and stuff. Sometimes it's harder to get out. This one. So you just pick it out by hand and add it to it. We'll go back to him later. So you notice these spots that are on the tails? All the tails have them. They're supposed to be like false eyeballs. So it confuses predators into biting the tail of the lobster instead of going for the vital head part. Baby, are you excited for the lobster? Looks like it's pretty much chopped into little... Yeah, it's all just like that size piece. Good. So this is three lobster tails with the meat that I took out of them using the all-purpose kitchen shear. Just cut down the middle of the tail like that. And then we spread the tail open and kind of just pluck all the meat out. I'm gonna make pasta. Step two, coming up. All right, what do we got going on? Of course, with lobster, we must have butter. I'm just gonna let the pan heat up a little bit with some butter. Lobster's going in the bowl with some spice. Pan's getting hot. You can see <laughs> butter's a little bit hot. Waste none. Smell that, Sadie? That's butter. I do smell it. For that lobster. You want to see Sadie's lobster? Little frozen lobster cubes for Sadie. She loves it. Lobster cooks pretty fast. You can already see it turning white coming through, so it doesn't take very much time at all, especially when it's chopped up thin like in little pieces like this. Lobster's I suppose the proper term for cooking this lobster is saute. I'm no chef, but I cook stuff here and there for fun, turns out. Mostly edible. It's only been about five minutes, but it's pretty much done. It doesn't take very long. All I put was butter in the pan with it, and olive oil, and the seasoning on it. Nice and, it's buttery and juicy. It's not fried or crispy or anything like that. It's just gonna be like, melt in your mouth. Uh, I made some spaghetti and meatballs last night and I had way too much pasta with it, so I'm just gonna reuse the pasta. <laughs> Nick's gonna eat the meatballs. No, no, I mean, <coughs> Sadie might eat the meatballs. Sadie's gonna pitch a fit because she's done watching the cooking show.
that turn out? That's good. Uh-oh. Very good or just decent? Good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the cleaning and the cooking of the lobster. Uh, we saw Tatum tonight, some butter in the pan, a little bit of olive oil, some seasoning on it, mix it with some pasta we had left over, plain and simple dinner, turned out really good, and stay tuned for the next video. All right, so Sarah made dinner tonight, lobster and pasta. She even left a present in there for me. Thanks, Sarah. Gross. At least you know where it came from. I guess so, yeah. I washed my hair earlier today after I got off the boat. Sure, thanks. Extra protein. Honey, no. No hair in mine.